Downloading the Google Play Store on your Fire 8 tablet is not that hard. There's four steps and four downloads you need to do. And I want to thank HowToGeek for making this possible. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just use their website to, to get this downloaded. And it's pretty easy and straightforward. First and foremost, you're going, you're going to want to go into Settings. I'll click on Security and Updates. Let's see, Security and Privacy. Actually, that's the one. And then make sure Apps from Unknown Sources is enabled on the Silk browser because that's what we'll use. It says Allowed here, that's what we want. If it says Not Allowed, just click on it. And then make sure this is on like this. So if it's off, it's probably going to show up like this. So just press it. And there might be like some warning sign you can click OK. This will probably void your warranty or like assistance and stuff. And just remember, you're doing this at your own risk. Uh, for most people, even including myself, it's like it hasn't been a problem. But I noticed some people complain about certain things not working or whatever. So that's just a slight concern. Also remember to make sure you don't have like some micro SD card installed. Okay, so moving forward. Secondly, we have to install the these four apps on this website, which I'll link below, by the way. It'll be in the description and the comments section. So going down, you're going to want to click install Play Store, or probably download the Play Store is better. So there's four different downloads we're going to do here. Number one is going to be, it's going to be based on each tab. So Google Account Manager is the first one, and it might seem a little confusing, but let me just go to the first one here. So we have the Fire 8 HD 8 here, and this one is the 10th gen, so it just goes up to Google Account Manager. If you have a different one, it'll have other options here, but we're just going to go for this one here. So I'm just going to hold it and then open a new tab. And this is what the download website is going to look like. Now the thing is, this stuff may look a little deceiving, the ads more specifically, because look at that, it says start here, like it's like a download file. And on here too, don't click on these. These are, I don't know what these are, but you don't want to click on these. You don't want to give any of your information. This stuff should be free. So you're going to want to click download APK and right here. This is the main one. Okay, and you'll probably get an ad like this, but just click X. And let's see here what's happened. Download is starting. So you can just click download. I'm going to click cancel for now because I already downloaded all four of these. There's four downloads here. And then going back to it, it might reload. But what you want to do is go to the next tab, which is Google Services Framework right here. It mentions that. Do the same thing over for that. Google Services Framework, Google Play Services. Did we miss out on one of them? Hold on, let me just check. Yeah, Google Play Services. And finally, should be one more. Okay, Google Play Store. Now, the Google Play Store, there's only one download link. It's for all models through and through. Just going to want to hold this. Open a new tab. Tab open in background. So let me click here. And close this one out. And the reason I want to show this one is because it's a little bit different from the others where you're going to want to go down here and you're going to click on a, the latest APK that doesn't say beta. If it says beta here, just go to the one below it. Okay, so we're going to click down the download button on the right side. And now it says should find the download button down here. It's going to be in blue this time, just like so. So other ones will be in red. There's one or two that may be in blue. And if it doesn't, if the download button doesn't show up immediately, that looks pretty much like this, unless they updated the website from the making of this after making this video. Uh, if it doesn't look like this, then don't da don't click the download button. But otherwise, you may have to just find it by going down a little further. But this one's right. So once these are downloaded, you're going to go into the files uh, store, or sorry, not the file store, but your files app, and then go into the download section. So we're going to click the hamburger or the menu button on the top left, go to downloads. And as you can see, there are four things that are downloaded here. Your layout might show up like this, but you want it more in a list format, which you can change right here, this button. Okay, and then you're going to want to download these in order. So I believe it's from bottom to top. Well, not, not just like bottom to top, but more specifically the names. Let me just go to the other one real quick just to confirm. So this is the order right here. So it's going to be the GSF login at the end, then GSF, GMS, and, and vending. But I think it's in reverse when it's, uh, when it how it shows up, the layout. It's 
the opposite way. So I'm going to change that real quick here. So like I said, GSF login, you click on that and then you're going to click continue and just download and don't open this. Just click done at the end. I'm not going to do it again because otherwise it's, it might mess up my, my Android device or my, not my device, but my Google Play Store that I already have downloaded and it's, and it's working properly. You're going to do the same thing here. Click continue, install, and then just click done. Don't open anything. Same thing here for the third one and then the final one as well. Once all these, all four of these are downloaded, you're going to hold the power button, press the restart button, and at the end, you should have the Google Play Store ready to go here. Initially, when you open it up, it may or may not open up. Sometimes it'll take, give your tablet like five minutes to just prepare everything because everything's probably loading up. And then the Play Store should work. Sometimes if it doesn't work initially, you may just have to redo the steps. Or there are some other solutions that I made a video separately on that I'll have like a, a card or annotation right now that you can check out. But either way, I hope this helps out. Um, I think it's a joke still that Amazon has their own, uh, what is it, App Store, and it's just terrible. This is so much better, like miles better. You got Pokemon Unite here. You got Plants and Zombies, Clash of Clans, Bleach, uh, never mind. But yeah, you get my point. Anyways, guys, I hope you found this helpful, and subscribe for more. As always, thanks for watching.